Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and we're going to take a look at using autofill and the fill down command in Microsoft Excel. So you can see I've got Microsoft Excel open and let's say we wanted to make a chart starting with the months. So January, February and etc. all the way over to December. Now a lot of people what they would do is they would simply type in each month, hit tab, and basically keep on going. But that's really a complete waste of time. What you could do is use the autofill and the way to do that is just type in the first month, click on the month so it's selected, then you go into the bottom right hand corner and you'll see that your cursor turns into a plus. That means the autofill is ready to be set and all you have to do is hold down your left mouse button and then drag to the right. And as you see, as you drag, you get a preview of what will be put down in that cell. And we'll just drag over to M and we'll let go. And you can see here that it has auto filled in all the months, the names of the months. Now, what's also pretty cool is even though you, you can drag to the right, you can also drag downwards. So you can click on the cell, go to the bottom right hand corner, drag down until you see the preview hit December and just let go right there. So now you have January to December basically in about three seconds. Now we could we don't have to necessarily start in January we could go to February right here and let me just show you what happens when I drag down from there and you can see I can get to December and you're probably wondering what happens if I continue. Well let's keep on going and you can see here that after it reaches December, it is smart enough, the program is smart enough to roll over to January, which is pretty nice. So autofill definitely works with months. It's very easy. It will also work with numbers. And let me just delete those. So let's say you put in the number one here. Now, if I try to autofill this, you're going to see that all it does is going to copy the information. And the reason for that is there is no sequence number. In, in fact, Excel doesn't know what to do with that one. But instead, if you do this, one and two in the next cell, then select both cells like that. And then what you're doing is you're going to the bottom right hand corner of both of those cells of the group. And now if you drag to the right, you can see that now Excel is smart enough to go increment by one. So you can see it goes one, two, three, four, five, and so on. We could use this to our advantage if we do this. Let me just delete that. Let's say I start with two and then four. So two and four. So it looks like I want to do even numbers. I'm going to select both numbers and then go to the bottom right hand corner, go to the right. And you can see now that it is counting up by twos and it's all even numbers. So these, the autofill command is very good with sequence of numbers. And you can see here that if I were to put a four down here, select both and now drag downwards, I get the same thing, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's delete that. And the same thing goes, let's say you want to increment by five. So we would go five and 10, select both cells and then drag to the right. There you go, 5, 10, 15. Now you're probably wondering, how well does it handle decimals? Well, let's give it a shot. Let's just erase that. So let's say we have a one here and 1.1. Let's select both and go to the right. And you can see here, one, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1 1.3. So that's pretty nice. Let's delete that. Let's see if it handles dot two five. So one, one dot two five, and we'll go up. Oh. Remember to select the bottom right hand corner for that autofill, and you can see it increments by 0.25 for every slot. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so so far we've seen everything increasing let's see if we can get things to decrease let's see if we could do that so we'll do one and then 0.9 
We'll select both. Click the bottom right hand corner, drag across. And now you can see it decreases by 0.10 on every slot. So we can get things to increase. We can also get them to decrease, which is very good. So that has to do with sequences of numbers. Now the fill down command is also very nice. Fill down is sort of related, but it actually doesn't increase or try to match the sequences. So let's say you have the word January. Now we all know that if you select the bottom right hand corner and you go down, it's going to increment the months. But we don't actually want to do that. We actually want to copy the word January all the way down because let's say you're making a yearly budget and this year is 2010. And I think with years, uh, looks like we still have to do another number there. So 2010, 2011, we're going to select both cells right there. Going to drag across. And let's say we were projecting a budget all the way out to 2025, something like that. Okay. Now you also see that the columns, some of the columns are unevenly spaced. And then we have the H column here, which is too small. Re the reason you know it's too small, it is showing the number of the hash marks right there. And we could drag across to show the whole thing. But if you, here's another trick for you. What some people do is they double click in between each cell to expand them. So we do that, we do that, you know, you get the spacing correct. But there's actually another way to do it. And let me just shorten everything up to show you. Okay, so it would be kind of a pain in the butt to continuously click across each one of these divisions to get these cells and these columns to space out. What I can do is actually do this, select all the cells right there. So I've selected C through R, and then I'm just going to click any one of them in between. So right there between L and M, double click, and it's going to space out everything, every column that I have selected. So that should save you a lot more time. Another function we can play around with is the fill down command, and it's sort of related to the autofill, but it works a little differently. So if we go to cell B2 and we type in January, we know that if we were to drag the bottom right hand corner, the months will increment. But we don't want to do that. Let's say we want to fill in the word January for all of these, all of these cells. Well, I can keep that selected and simply type in control D and you can see there that January fills in each column. And that's definitely a time saver and keeps you from typing in January for every every cell there. That would be kind of silly. Now for numbers and also for stuff that's not months, so let's say we have something like a test and we want to fill in test for everything. Well, if we simply drag down, this will autofill and do a fill down and everything is going to be the same word right there. So that's pretty cool. And let me show you how it works with numbers. If you just do one right there and you do that, then everything's going to stay the same. Now you're probably wondering, okay, let's say these numbers have been changed. I'm just going to change a bunch of cells, something like that. If you want to reset these to all ones, well, it's pretty easy. You just click the top one, drag the bottom right down, and it's going to reset itself, which is pretty nice. Another thing I forgot to talk about in the autofill is Excel understands ordinal numbers. So ordinal is stuff like first, second, you know, that type of stuff. So we could do, let's see what happens if we just type in first and then let's scroll across. You can see that it just says first, okay? But if we type in first and second and we select both and now if we scroll across, it uh, looks like it understands the pattern for a second, for a second. Okay, let's see if we could change that. Let's see if we could do 1ST, stands for 1ST in B2. Let's see if it understands that. I'm going to click in the bottom right corner, and now it understands first as long as you start it with a number. So 1ST, 2ND, you know, that type of stuff. It will also work if I drag downwards, first, second, third, and fourth. So if you're making like a trophy roster or for competitions and stuff like that, you could do that. 
Okay, so it's pretty easy to do auto fill and fill down. It will save you a lot of time inside of Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching.